nice brown. That's a nice brown to start things yeah. off. And streamers, so I betcha. Well, let's have a look and see what you got. So, these golden stones were fishing. There's, do you want to hold that one? I get sure. a bunch oh, of oh. So, that's the females that have okay. those big wings, oh, and yeah, then by comparison, that. see the males with oh, the yeah. flight. Well, so, the males are flightless, yeah, they don't fly, well, they don't fly. but you'll see okay. them. Ah, I get another one in here. So, you turn over these rocks, and they're everywhere. Oh, wow, these yeah. things are going to hatch between kind of like 11 30, 3 30 in the morning. Yeah, they have come down at night and shot time lapses of them hatching. When that female is emerging from her shack, there will be half a dozen males on her before she's oh, even okay. out of the shack. And it's, it's like a really bad bar scene. It's kind yeah. of inappropriate. <laughs> but like nobody buys her drink, nothing. Yeah. But so you get all these stone flies. The males can't fly, so yeah. they never return to the oh, water. Okay. But the females, when they come back and deposit their eggs, the oviposit, when they bounce off the water, yeah. their wings will get wet sometimes and they're stuck on the water, so they have to run to shore. So same as when you're skating yeah. and that brown tried to oh, grab yeah. as you're skating. Yeah, and then, exactly. Yeah. And that's oh, why when yeah. you're skating and twitching it, yeah. that wake that they create, those fish come and eat, that one that oh, ate okay. on yours and then the Dale had to follow, follow, follow. That's what they're used to looking at. And so the males, the poor males, they don't ever get The males fly can't fly. Oh, look at that. Thing. When you what turn the over the rocks too. So there's a crane fly larva. Crane fly larva. So they're wow. huge. You see how big that is. Oh, and yeah. then that's what everybody's fishing that San Juan worm San for. San Juan worm, You turn the rocks over and Every rock has half a dozen of those underneath it right Unreal. now. Like, this river has oh, so many nutrients. What's that? What are those little guys? And a little it's aquatic little worm. Aquatic worm. A little yeah. aquatic worm. It's not the same as an earthworm, but they're just absolutely loaded. And you see it's got that reddish oh, brown yeah. color to it. Most oh, people fish a red, but yeah. yeah, it's amazing how many of these, like the nutrients oh, in this river. in this river. No wonder the like, browns and bows get so, yeah, so big. big. That's the thing. There's so much food, how big those stoneflies are, how big those cranefly larvas, endless numbers of these worms, well, you know caddis. I'm going to keep casting that dry for those big stones. Yeah. You know, we know they're around and then Dale's working the, the streamer. We got a, a nice fish. Yeah, and it's a perfect way to run the dry out the front yeah. and then the streamer out the back. And if one's vastly outproducing the other, then we'll switch up. Yeah, you know, I, I don't mind sharing. I'm good. It's nice to see cool. me that dry, though. <laughs> right on. Yeah, I know. Put the crane flies back. Don't want to take their lunch. You got to start with different things. Yeah, Josh has us on to some dry, so I'm going to be off the front of the boat. Got the big, big guy, big stones. You know, there's still some stones coming off. So we're going to start with a stone. Bulldog's got. The streamer going, we got a Crelex minnow, really cool little pattern we're gonna show you later. You know, we got different ones that Bulldog will put on, you know, one of his favorite, the butt monkey. We'll, we'll fire on there a little bit. But you know, expect good things. We got beautiful runs down here. So, you know, when we come back, we got some great fishing from the Bull River.
<laughs> I know. That's a big whitey. Right. Yeah. A bonefish. <laughs> a whistler. That's the Canadian bonefish. Yeah. Look at that. And that wow. zonker's gone. You can't the even see it. Gone. Look at it like it's wow. completely gone. No way. No zonker to be seen. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's a big white fish. He slurped it like a spaghetti noodle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you get that. There we go. Huts out. That's a big white fish. Yeah, Rocky Mountain white fish. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he inhaled that song. He was gone. All we can see was tippet sticking out of his mouth. Now that's a surprise. I haven't, uh, I haven't caught a white fish on the, the boat ever with it. With, that with a streamer? Thing. Oh yeah, they'll eat them. They're just. I caught them on nymphs before. But never on he ate that streamer completely. He like, <laughs> inhaled it. it Diverse. Gone. Hey, we can catch them all. Browns, whiteys, animals. Yeah. It's all good. Looks like a boat. It is rainbow. a boat. It looks like a rainbow, yeah. Well, how many was that? That was like four or five that charged that fly. I missed it. And which one was it? Did I don't know, this fly? guy, but no? I think they were hitting the big scope and the ones that were hitting and, and This one looks it. like he's on the back fly. This yeah, one you've got not. a light That's one on. I've got a real dark one on. They seem like the light one. Yeah, it although they haven't yeah. eaten it. It hasn't eaten it yet. Yeah, it's, it's on, on the that back, back one. Yeah. A nice bullet. Nice silver bullet, yeah. yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, you did take the back one, eh? Yeah. Nice fish. There you yeah. go. There you go. Good. Yep. Good job. Thanks, Good job, man. Yeah. Nicely done. Hey, we got the Good job. Got yeah, the weather exactly. Come in. That's right. The weather's come in now, so. Okay, so just changing up streamers here. What we've been running is a tandem rig. Um, <laughs> two flies running. Let's look at it. Yeah. So we're running something big in the front, and then back behind it, we've been running these little, it's a Crelix minnow. Basically, it's just a clouser that's tied with uh, Crelix flash material. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's how many of those fish? Yeah, yeah so many been, fish have been taken. it. Been on, it's yeah? a super erratic little fly because it's heavy, but it's, it's real sparse, so it dives and darts, and that's why we're fishing it with a pattern that's very different, that's going to move differently. What's that this one is called? Good. This is called an articulated butt monkey. <laughs> One of my favorite yeah, butt, monkey. <laughs> butt monkey. It's a great bug. So we've been fishing that. This one. Oh no, we got both you guys' lines crossed in here. Okay. Yeah. So we've been fishing that like a big fly and a little fly. Most of those fish have been coming on the little fly, but in a lot of cases that bigger fly acts as an attractant. They see it, they'll flash on it, and then they'll hit the smaller fly. The little guy. I think but that's those, what's happening. With yeah, them. yeah. And those uh, those little Crelix minnows. They're just they've been a deadly little fly, and it's killer. It's yeah, been killer. it's been good. It's that been has. really good. This episode brought to you by The Frog Boat Islander Precision Reels and Maui Jim Today on the bench I want to tie you up the Crelix Minnow. You know we're using this pattern on the Bull River and it, it's a great attractor. You know you can fish it a lot of different ways but erratic and fast is the best. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size six 4X long streamer. We'll use some white 100D nano silk for the thread, a seven 32nd inch nickel yellow real eyes, dumbbell eyes for the eyes, some silver Kreenick 001HL material for the tail, some silver Kreenick 001HL for the underwing, and some gold Kreenick 002HL for the overwing. To start the fly off, I have my thread onto the hook and I'm going to build up a little bit of a base layer here, right near the head. Just down from the eye, just back from the eye a little bit, because I'm going to put the, the dumbbell eyes on now. And you want a bit of a base layer to build from. So you put your dumbbell eyes there, take a few wraps one way, move it over, get it on there on the, the top, and then just do a bunch of, bunch of figure eights. You know, build that 
build that thread up around those eyes quite well because you want this not to move at all. And a lot of people, once they finish with the eyes, they'll actually head cement them to hold them in place. So that's a good idea too, is you can put a bunch of head cement on there just to make sure they don't slide off. So now that the eyes are tied in, I've taken my thread to the back of the hook and I've taken a clump of my metallic, my silver metallic material. I'm gonna double it over and we're just gonna tie it in and put the tail in. I always like to double over with thread so that it, it holds in place. And then go, make sure you go over that material. So, you know, we've got a good clump in there. I've tied over it. Tie it in good, right at the rear of the hook. Bring the thread over. Then we're gonna cut it about the length of the hook. So, let's bring it back. That's about the length of the hook and cut off the tail there. And you can vary the length. You know, I like this minnow to be quite long because I'll use it for various types of fish, even salmon, so I want it fairly big. Now that we've got the tail tied in, I'm gonna move all the way up to the front, and I'm gonna go in front of my eyes. So finish your thread there, and again, take about the same amount of material. You know, it's probably, if you look at it, it's probably 25 to 30 strands of your metallic material. And take the silver, and again, we're gonna double it over, Double it over, tie it in front of the eyes, make sure it's in there good. Tie it in well, and then take it behind the eyes and wrap it down. And don't tie it back much further, that's about as far as you want to go. Now this is going to create the... This is actually a really good attractor pattern. See how nice it is? It sits like that in the water, inverted, so you got a nice, you know, bronzy or gold wing on it. Big key with this pattern, fish it fast and fish it deep, and you'll have success. This episode brought to you by The Frog Boat, Islander Precision Reels, and Maui Jim. too far out? Uh, let that sit. He's moved that far on occasion. He's usually in a little tighter, but he has moved that far out to feed. So okay. next one, just tuck it in a little closer and we'll just kind of move our way oh. in. Whoo! Oh, Coming in hot. That wind got it a yeah. bit. Yeah. Good, good line, good line. I saw it go under. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh. that's a dry. Oh, yeah, the dry. Oh, nice. He ate the dry. Nice oh, fish, nice dude. fish. On the hopper. On the hopper. Yeah. Wow. Coming down. Wow. Coming down. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, how sweet is that? Uh, uh, we'll oh. take you missing it on the drop for no this. Uh, I'm to get it on the drop. I was like, I was in shock when he that came up and hit that. He crushed it. He crushed, he crushed his it. Egg. Wow. Nicely done, my Three man. Three-way rod and sight you fishing. You can walk with That's what the Bull River's all about, right? It's just sight fishing. When you get out of the boat and you take the time oh. to walk and find these fish, it's just so much fun. Oh, look at that. It's a gorgeous fish. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's rolled in it. Oh gee, I was hoping he was kind of wrapped there for a minute. Yeah. Come on. Oh, he got, got it. There oh. we go. This edge just like caves in and it's oh. collapsing under my feet, so I nice. couldn't go any further. Look at that. Right on. Wow. Nice job, buddy. That's a decent ball. That oh, was so look at how long that guy the is. Drill the hopper. He yeah, ever. He crushed it. He crushed the hopper. That's what we've been wanting to see. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> there wow, we go, nice, nice. fish. That. The flies out. Check that out. Beauty fish. Oh, that's that nice. How long is that guy? Measured on the net. Yeah. So that is 21 and about a quarter. Yeah, just beautiful. Nice. Oh, gorgeous right. bull. Here we go. Yeah, Good job, baby. Man. On the dry that, that time. Dry on the plate. hopper. That's what we were looking for. And there he goes. Oh, right on. Unbelievable. It just doesn't get any better than that, you uh, know? It's so much fun when you can get out of the boat. You see the fish, walk yeah. a bank. You could see it nymphing in there, like the pass before it hits the nymph. Yeah, he hit the nymph, didn't see And that was smart. Then... You waited until he was going to hit on the dry in the oh, next pass. Oh, boom! The like next cast, he smoked that grasshopper. Shocked me. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That is that too cool. Gritty, gritty. Fantastic. Nice. Oh, what a way to spend it. That's, no the, way, that's the way to do no it. No kidding. Nice brown, yeah. Nice and fat. Yeah, short, but he's fat. Let's see if we can try lifting him a little bit. We're gonna start getting a little weedy okay. in here, Dale. Okay. Just to want him to start burying you in these yeah. weeds. Good. There, he's ready for a nap. There he is. Awesome for that fish to just launch right now. Yeah. Okay, see the weeds are starting to get into it. So yeah. See if you can keep him up. Oh yeah, he's a nice. It. He's a nice bro. Yeah. Oh, there he's a go. chubby. <laughs> he's a chubby brown, eh? Nice. Nice Beautiful brown. Beautiful color. Nice, thick female. Yeah, that's yeah. a chunky fat. We wanted that. That is a chunky fat brown. <laughs> Good job, boys. Bulldog! Very good. <laughs> you know, if you want to adventure on the Bull River, give Josh a call. Outfly Fishing Outfitters. You guys do a great job here. You got, he's got like a hundred boats on the go all the time, which I find very impressive. Couple. Yeah, we and I want to thank uh, Steve Gardner, our hardy yeah. rep. You know, he gets his Hodgman stuff. He was out, guiding, you know, running the guide boat today. But you know, the Bull River, it's a pretty big stretch of water. So when you're out here, take care, conserve our waters. And we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. Good job, boys. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> this episode brought to you by 